Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Vastine, and I'm going to. I made a shaker, another shaker ornament, and I'm sending it off. And this one is for um, my aunt. She lives in Memphis. Nope, she lives in Nashville, Tennessee. And so I'm sending this to her. But I need an envelope and I'm going to paint this envelope. So I thought I would come on and show you how I'm going to do this. And um, I'm just going to slap some paint on here and put some stencils on it and some stamps. And some mark making tools and you know the whole yada yada that's what I'm gonna do so let's get started with some paint and I've got my metallics out here hang on I need my black no I'm gonna stamp in black so I, I don't need black paint I'm gonna stamp with black ink so I'm just going to Put some on here with my, I think I'm going to scrape it on with my card, with a card, yep. So I'm going to put a little bit out here on my thingamajigger. Are you guys down too far? I adjusted my camera to take photos, and I don't know if it's up too high or down too but I can zoom you in a little bit. Move the camera out. Okay. Let's see how that does. And so I'm just going to put some paint out here. This is Berry. I love Berry. This is Champagne Gold. get a little bit of that and some metallic green this is crystal green these are all the metallic paints so yep this is how I'm gonna do it It dries faster this way when you spread it on this way. I usually do it with a catalyst, but I decided to do it this way. So it would just be pretty, pretty. And then when I get ready to mail it, I will put it in a plastic a cellophane envelope inside and then address the outside of this. That way the envelope isn't messed up. But she's not going to ever use this envelope again for anything because she, she doesn't art. She's just an ant. And she sent us some money, so I thought I would send her a Christmas card. Well, I always send her a Christmas card, but I decided to make her a shaker ornament. She's got grandkids that will enjoy that. Let's get all the white space cover it up make this real festival festive And I'm going to turn 
it over and do the back side. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. And dry it so it doesn't muck up my front side. And I'm going to put a little more paint down. Not too much. It doesn't take long to make these envelopes, and they're so pretty. People enjoy them, especially crafty people. They enjoy them because they can use the envelope again. And the way I send it is in these. I'll show you. These cellophane envelopes. I'll put it inside of that and then address the outside and put some packing tape over the top of the address. And yep, that's how I mail them out. I need a drink. Oh, I was thirsty. She'll go, what in the world did you do that to the envelope for? Because she's just not artsy at all. So this will be a little fun for her. To get such an envelope. I don't know if you guys are getting them in the mail, but I'm getting all these credit card things from car dealerships that want me to come and buy a car from them. They have so much money on these credit card things I can use to buy my car. How much of it a loan would be? I'm not kidding you. I'm getting a ton of them in the mail. Right, no, thank you. I think I need a little darker gold, but I'm not going to do that. This will be just fine. All right, Let's set that up here for a minute, and I'm going to clean this off. And I'm going to get my paper down here that I scrape paint into. And I'm going to scoop up all this paint and put it in my little book here. This composition, I um, glued all the pages together, so it's just about ready to get going with some gluing in it. But I made me a chunky monkey the other day. I crinkled up all the pages and made me a chunky monkey. That's what I'm going to call it, chunky monkey. And we'll do that together after I get all this other stuff done. All right. I 
didn't waste my paint. I'll show you my chunky monkey. I'm doing it like um, Dawn on Let's Make a Mess today. And I don't know where she got her inspiration from. I can't remember. Um, I did go watch the video, so. But I just wanted to show you. See? I curled up on. That's all I've done is curled my pages. I haven't done anything else. And I got all chunky. Chunky, chunky. I'm loving it. Chunky, chunky. So, after Christmas, that's going to get stuff put in it. Okay, now we're going to stencil some stuff on here. And I have some stencils here. And I'm not sure if this white's going to show up on here, but I'm going to try. This is white pearl. Oh, come on. Open up. And I'll get me a sponge. And my little sponge bucket. And let's see, what shall we put on it? I always go to the dotty dots. This one. Let's do a few of these. Because that's what we do, isn't it? Yeah, it's showing up okay. working all right. I would like it to be a brighter white. I'm thinking I'm going to pause the video and go find the brighter white. I'll be right back. Okay, I got these are satin. Uh, I didn't have any metallic white. The only metallic white you get is this white pearl and it's okay but I'm going to put a few of them on this with this brighter white. And I'm probably going to go to this this one this one I don't know what it is it's the Tim Holtz one these are all Tim Holtz stencils yeah that's good That's better. Now turn it over. Maybe I will blow that dry a little bit. I smeared them. I smeared them.
Okay, now let's turn it over and we'll go back to the bigger dots. Go in with these other ones. Okay. No, I don't clean my stencils. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of black paint down here and I'm going to blow that dry. These really go fast. You don't have to put a whole lot of stuff on them. But I'm going to put some lines with my card. I'm going to try and do them like Elizabeth Brewer does. Where is she? This way, this way. Oops. Well, I screwed that one up big time. I'm really screwing them up. Let me dry those. Let's turn it over and do some on the back side, see if we can not screw them up. All right, good enough. Now I'm going to dry those.
you know, the other day I was looking through my uh, stamp pads and I found neon stamps and I'm going to pull some of those out. So I have blue, green, and red. And I'm going to stamp some snowflakes on here. That's what I am planning on doing. And I hopefully it will get turdy. I think I'm going to use that one. If it's yucky and ugly, I'll toss it. I'll gesso over it and start over with another one. This is going to be fine. Mm, can't see it too good. idea. Maybe I should use white. Maybe I should use white paint. Let's try that. But these are not foam stamps and I hate to put paint on these. But I will. I have some white ink. Hang on, let me see if I can find it. I'll be right back. I have a better idea. I think we shall emboss some snowflakes on here. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I have silver, gold, and white. I didn't get any clear. And I also got white ink. But I think we're going to try some embossing and see if we can bring this little envelope to life. Stamp right over the top of that. And we'll put some gold embossing powder on it. Yeah, we're going to see how that looks. I think it'll fix it. Everything's fixable.
that came out pretty pretty. I'll show you. Come on, focus. There we go. So if we put a few of those around, it will cover up these black things we have going on here. I like to stamp on a foam. It just makes a clearer stamp. Be careful with my embossing powder. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's do a different one. I could have fun with this all day. Do silver. I didn't use my. Oh no, I just spilt it. Did you see what I did? Look what I did. Yep. That's what happens to me. It's not just you, Stacy. It happens to me also. I try to be so careful. And if I don't clean it up and I turn the blower on, it's going to blow everywhere. So I'm going to try and scoop it up the best I can. And of course it had to fall on this mat. That you can't get anything off of. Hi, 
was trying to be so careful. I don't know what else to use to scoop that up with. I think I'm just going to have to bite the dust and Not try to get it all in the back in the bottle. I'm going to have embossing powder every on here forever. Sorry about that, guys. But that's what happens sometimes. Now I'm glitter glittery everywhere. Well, okay. Let's emboss this. Oh, that's really pretty. Pretty, pretty. See how pretty? Well, let's do another one. Shall we? Shall we make a mess? Because that's what I do the best. Is I make messes. Like messes, and then I'm going to put some little ones with white embossing powder, and I think that will be pretty pretty. have sparkles all over me. Alrighty, let's do some white ones now. Now that I've made a mess, I'm over it. I got over it. I'm over it. I really got over it. Mm, this is a pretty, pretty one.
going to be pretty. Try not to spill our embossing powder. Yeah, let's do a couple of more of those. If you can keep your hands out of what you've embossed on your paper and keep your yeah One there and one there. And then we're going to turn it over and do some on the back side. I feel like my camera is too close. I gotta go shopping with my mother in law. I think I'm gonna go to the new Kohl's that just opened in my area. We got a new Kohl's and we got a new Big Lots. Yeah, I'm so happy. They're so close by. I don't have to drive 10 or 11 miles to get to them. She wants some flannel pajamas. And I think Kohl's would probably be my best bet. What do you guys think? Do you think Coles would be a good thing?
All right. I'm liking this. I'm liking it. And I think it's coming out pretty pretty. I'm not so hip on the gold, though. But it is what it is. Let's turn it over and do this side. Seeing how we're going with the theme, I guess I will do some gold on the back side too. Hmm. I didn't get the whole thing covered. There we go. Good enough. It's probably just going to go right in the garbage. Anyway. But it's fun to make it. That one didn't get stamped as good. That's why I like to stamp on a On a foam thing. Let me auto focus you so you can see. It's a it's a mist shapen snowflake. But it will be okay. It'll be all right. Let's do another one. I'm going to do it right over this so-called star that I made a mess of. See if I can cover it up a little bit. I can feel embossing powder everywhere. Yeah, that one came out better, see? I brought my boom arm with my camera on it down closer when I was taking a picture. I take pictures with my camera. It takes photos. And... I don't think I got it quite high enough on my boom arm back in place. Because my cord is in the way here. And it's getting in the way of everything. But I don't want to mess with it right now. Because we are doing these. 
Let's see. Let's do this other one in silver. Just to change it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, God, I almost dropped that again. I don't know what it is with this silver embossing powder. It's not my friend. It is just not my friend today. It is just not my friend. Bell, stop it. Sorry, I didn't mean to clean any guys' ear so close to the camera. I have embossing powder everywhere. That's what happens when you emboss. That one's really pretty. It really is pretty in the silver. It's like a medallion. Stamp. Okay, we're going to do it one more time, and then we're going to do another little one, a different little one in white, and then we will be finished. With this envelope. Oh, and I didn't put my thing down. Oh, well, I never can remember it. This silver stuff wants to, it's so fine, it just wants to go everywhere. little one here. Let's do this little one. And 
we'll do this one in white like we did on the front side. I just want to be done with this. I'm going to stamp another one. And then we can be done. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I'm going to do one off the page. stamp another one over here Whew, now I can get done with this stuff and put this stuff away and clean up this mess that's everywhere. All right, now I am finished with my envelope and I think it's beautiful. I think it's very pretty. And yeah, I'm going to put her card in here and her little thing in here and then I will put it in one of these envelopes. I got these off the Amazon if anybody wants to know and the size of this is six and a half by nine and a half and it's a hundred pieces hundred pieces and you just put in um, cellophane envelopes and that's mailing envelopes and that's what you'll get and then I just stick it in here and then it seals and then I put the address on it on a, another little thing and glue it on here and my return and then she can just take it out of this and the envelope won't be messed up with addresses so anyhow and I have some happy mail I got today I got a Christmas card from our wonderful Elizabeth Brewer and I'm going to show it to you I'm so thrilled the first one I have gotten from this challenge so I'm happy happy
we had a challenge where we either sent out Christmas cards or uh, ornaments or both, I guess, if you wanted to. So let's see what I got here. Let's try this. And let's see, where's my little envelope opener? Oh, somewhere it's in here, somewhere it looks like a dagger. There it is. See, it looks like a dagger. My mother in law gave this to me, but I never can figure out how to use it. She rips right through her her mail with hers. I think this one's dull. Oh, oh. Come on, little card. Come on. Oh, how cute. These are the ones that she remade with her other cards. And says, hi Nancy, just wanted to drop you a holiday greeting to let you know how much you have touched my heart through this past year. Your comments on my videos have been so kind and helpful. I enjoy watching your videos as well. You have taught me so much. Your videos are so easy to understand and follow. I look forward to seeing more through the upcoming year. Blessings to you and your family. Love, Elizabeth. Isn't that beautiful? Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, guys. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And I have a PayPal account. If you'd like to donate to my account, I will put it in the description below. And it um, would help out a lot if you can do so. If not, that's okay, too. And comment, leave me a comment. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I think I said that. And subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.